uh, CJ, first of all, congratulations on getting back. But but did they tell you your season was over? Because Coach, Coach Norvell told us your season was over. And uh, when did you realize you might actually be able to play this year? Well, whenever I first was injured, we thought of it as a season in the injury. But once we got to surgery and everything after post-surgery is when they told me that there's a chance that if I continue to work as hard as I, uh, I always work, then I'll be able to, uh, might be able to make a return to Florida game. But in my head, I thought I could come back a lot earlier than that. So I kept working and now I'm here. Yeah, I mean, um, for the team had a huge celebration. Can you just talk about what that meant for you? And um, if you want to talk about like what that meant to see him score, to see, you know, you mentioned brotherhood. That that's probably a big deal to see him score that touchdown right there, right? Uh, it definitely was. You know, with me being hurt, I spent a lot more time in the training room. Every day I'm there, CJ's there before me. Every time I leave, he's there after me. It's just really satisfying to know, you know, one of my brothers, one of my close family, seeing their hard work pay off, it meant so much to me. And seeing him smile and cheesing off the field when he's running off, that's even more. <laughs> CJ, can you walk us through the touchdown and just what it felt like to, to score the first one, given everything that you've, you've gone through? Um, to score my first one coming back, and, I mean, it was incredible. It was nothing like it. Um, so surreal. I had always envisioned it. You know, even since I've been hurt, I was thinking about it was going to feel so good to get that first touchdown in. And then running off the field, seeing everybody celebrating for me, you know, um, that shows just how much of a family we are here and the brotherhood that we have because no matter what, no matter who you are, walk on a scholarship, you know, um, they all root for you and they're all happy to see you succeed. So that's one of the biggest things that helped get me through that injury and have make that touchdown celebration so special. Uh, Jared, Coach Ravel praised uh, Coach Fuller's game plan and the defensive execution, especially in the first half. I think they had 24 yards on 24 plays. And what you say, what was going so well for the defense in the first half? It was just our mentality. I feel like that's something that we're very capable of. I still think we messed up and we have a lot of areas to improve on. But I think the biggest help is probably Fabian. Not even just his physical presence, but you know, when he's playing, you're so much more invested in the game. His energy was so high. It just everyone else fed off of it. At least I did. So it was just, you know, when we all play together, it's just we can shut anything down. A question for both you guys. The mood in the locker room afterwards, obviously it's a it's a nice win. There's things you that Coach Norvell said you guys can clean up on. So are you feeling good after this game? Is there some frustration? I guess what, what's the general mood like after a win like this? Um, there's still work to do. We didn't play our best game. You know, we could play a lot a lot better than the way we did. You know, we obviously can't continue to turn over the ball. You know, it's something we have to continue to work on, but I think once we play our best game, then you'll really see a, a heightened reaction. I think it was definitely very good. You know, we came in well, smiling, happy. Like Coach said, we didn't play our best game at all. We made a lot of mistakes. We got to fix this. We got to fix that. You know, offense and defense and special teams, we all made our mistakes. We're all going to fix them coming into this next week. But being in the locker room, a win's a win. We all smiling there, cheesing, everybody's happy, especially with CJ scoring. So we good. <laughs> Jared, do you feel like this is kind of what the defense is supposed to be? You guys have been, probably since the LSU game, you've had so many different guys out for different periods of time. And in that time, some of the young guys developed, like Pat and some of those guys. But now that you're back and Fabian's back and some of the other guys are back, do you feel like this is what this defense was supposed to be all season? I definitely think we're stronger than we when we went to the LSU game because of the injury with Fabian, because of my injury, you know, the injuries across the line, across our defense. The younger guys did have to step up. They didn't get that chance to just be freshmen, be sophomores, be young guys, and just watch back, watch how the older guys do it. They had to step up. Now they have real game experience, so they're even more developed than any, to be honest, in most other schools, most of the players across the country. Then with Fabian coming back, me coming back, all our defensive players that were hurt, now coming back, we're even stronger than I think we've ever been. Um, you know, the second half you mentioned, there's some things to clean up. What did you guys struggle particularly with in the second half that you saw that you need to work on? I think we just came out slow. I don't think it was anything specific that like, oh, we got to fix this or we got to fix that. It was just a mentality. We didn't come out as fast as we did in the first half, and that's something we're not going to make that same mistake again. CJ, could you, um, uh, whatever you're willing to talk about with the injury and like describe what it was and was it not as bad as they thought when they went in or is there anything you can tell us about that? 
Um, so whenever I first was injured, you know, broke broke my fibula, like, um, and we thought I had torn some ligaments, but going into surgery, you know, um, they figured out it was just my um, my fibula that was broken and it shifted my whole ankle to the left inside. Um, so that's what made them think there were some ligaments torn, but they weren't untorn. So therefore, it was just a broken fibula. I know. <laughs> CJ, finally, through, through the rehab process, I guess Coach Norvell talked about you smiling a lot, like coming out to practice. I guess why was that important to you to be happy when you could have not been smiling? I mean, it's important to keep a good state of mind whenever you're coming back from an injury because, you know, if you continue to harp on it, like you, that you can't do certain things, then it'll make it your comeback even slower than what it was. So I came every day with a positive mindset to get better, you know. And then the guys around me in the running back room, LT, Rodney, Trey Ward, you know, um, Trey Benson, they all kept my head up telling me, don't worry, you'll be back. You'll be back faster than what they thought and just continue to work and then be patient because at the end of the day, you know, my time will come. And sure enough, today they let me show what I can do. Thank you. Thank you.